four essential tips before buying a land bank property. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everyone. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm Chase Hunter, real estate investor and mentor with a focus in Detroit, Michigan. Today, we are diving into the exciting world of the Detroit land bank properties. If you're considering investing in one of these properties, you're in the right place. I'm going to share four major tips that you absolutely need to know before making a move. Let's jump in. Tip number one, research the neighborhood. When it comes to the land bank properties in Detroit, location is key, but do keep in mind Detroit is a block by block type of city, okay? So you can't necessarily run off zip codes because there are pockets of properties, okay? Meaning they may have a street full of properties and maybe one abandoned house on the block and then you go to the very next block and it's vacant, right? It looks like a war zone. So before you even think about purchasing, go and take a tour. We offer tours by the way, so you may wanna go ahead and sign up. You should get a feel of what you are about to invest in and you can only do that by having your feet on the ground. Knowing the neighborhood inside and out will help you make a better and an informed decision. Tip number two, understand the property's condition. Don't judge a book by its cover, but judge a book by its cover, <laughs> all right? In some cases, you just never know, all right? These properties can vary widely in condition. Some might be in decent shape while others may require significant renovation. So make sure that you get a professional inspection to uncover any hidden issues because there will be several, okay? <laughs> this will help you budget accurately for repairs and renovations. And if you don't have a trained eye, you may miss some important key things in the photos like bad foundation and multiple holes in the roof and too many overgrown trees and on the property and the list goes on and on. So don't do that, all right? Tip number three, know the land bank's rules. Detroit Land Bank Authority has its own set of rules and regulations for purchasing properties. The rules have changed. Just when I purchased, um, the rules were different for both properties, okay? And they were purchased a week apart. And the rules totally changed based on how you get through compliance. I will say follow the checklist, but there will be times that other things come up and we'll take priority in the property in order to get something checked off the list, okay? So it's crazy when you think about it because sometimes you, you, you have to go through the list, but you may have to get the water line reconnected, so you can't do that until you do that. Make sense? All right. I see so many times that people don't get the correct information or half of the information when it comes to compliance, okay? And that's where it gets a little muddy. And, and then comes, you know, a major setback. Compliance is key to a successful purchase. Tip number four. Lastly, have a clear investment plan. Calculate your budget, including the purchase price, renovation costs, property taxes, and ongoing maintenance expenses. Determine your exit strategy, whether you're planning to rent, flip, hold the property. A well thought out plan is very crucial for success, all right? And we want you to be successful. So there you have it, folks, four essential tips to keep in mind before diving into the world of the Detroit land bank properties. Research the neighborhood, understand the property's condition, know the land bank's rules, and have a solid investment plan. With these tips, 
you'll be better prepared to make a smart and profitable real estate investment. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure again that you subscribe to our channel for more real estate tips and insights. As always, if you have any questions or you want to share your own experiences, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.